right, messy toolbox, lots of stuff that needs to be cleaned up here, another car taken apart. Oh, there we go, that's a familiar face. Hey guys, welcome back to the garage. A lot of you may have seen this truck here in a fairly popular video that's been featured on a lot of uh, blog sites and forums and stuff like that. This is a 2011 Ford F-150 with the 3.5 liter EcoBoost engine. It's a twin turbocharged V6 and it's back in the garage here for just a simple oil change, nothing else. So let's take a look at this truck and let's see how many miles it has on it. So there you go. It's racked up about 39,000 miles since I last made a video of this truck. I'm not going to title the video 240,000 mile EcoBoost because uh, something's going to happen to it in between now and 240,000 if I do. So talking with the owner of the truck here, he's been really happy with it. He hasn't had any issues with it. We've done, as I said in the video before, we've done ignition coils once, spark plugs twice, we've done oxygen sensors, and we made a little modification to the uh, intercooler to take care of that misfire issue from condensation building up. But there's his fuel mileage, 21.4 miles per gallon. It's still doing really well, and obviously he does mostly highway driving, but for a four-wheel drive truck with this kind of miles on it, that's really stinking good. Let's take a peek under the hood. So there it is, the 3.5 liter EcoBoost engine. And we just got finished doing his oil change here. And the battery needs to be cleaned up a little bit, but man, other than that, this truck has really amazed me and as I said before in the video didn't know really what to expect when these EcoBoost engines first came out in 2011 it was a new thing a lot of people said oh they're not gonna last you know they're gonna blow up well once again guys here you go I think this is testimony to taking care of your stuff and it taking care of you he does his oil changes every 5,000 miles he uses none other than Ford Motorcraft filters and 5w30 synthetic blend oil and this truck is still running perfect. I mean, it's it's really awesome. I would buy this truck if I had a need for a truck right now. It's great. So, there you go. He fixed the big uh, crack in the windshield there that you saw earlier from the Hawk. So it's got a new windshield. The grill has been replaced after hitting that deer. So all oh, that's nice and pretty now. And the truck just shines. There's no rust anywhere. There's a couple little dents, a couple little dings to be expected on an almost quarter million mile truck, but man, it's just, it's in beautiful shape. It's a nice looking truck and it runs wonderfully. All right, so the under the hood and the exterior of the truck looks great, but once again, what about underneath? Well, it's bone dry. With the exception of the little oil that likes to leak from the uh, pan after you do an oil change, that's the one thing I wish they did differently on this truck. You can't help but have a few drops uh, leak down from that little catch can or the little pan that they put under that oil filter when you take the filter off. But man, I, I kid you not, other than that, everything is just bone dry under here. We're almost to a quarter million miles and still no leaks. Absolutely awesome. My faith is growing in these trucks every waking moment. So. What can we learn from this truck that's sitting in back of us here with almost a quarter million miles on the engine, transmission, and all that good stuff? Number one, and I'm going to make a lot of people mad saying this, but we've learned that there's replacement for displacement. Sorry guys, that's just the way it is. Number two, take care of your stuff and it'll take care of you. The truck's been well maintained. It's clean. It's taken care of. It's rust free. It's got a lot of miles on it but it's running great and it's in good shape because it's maintained well. And thirdly, I think we can safely say that the EcoBoost is now a proven engine. Almost 250,000 miles on this one and running great. And doing forum research and looking around and reading other people's stories about their trucks, this isn't the only one. There's a few more out there that I've seen guys talking about with lots of miles on them. I think I saw one with about 300,000 miles on it and they're running great. So is the EcoBoost proven? 
I think at this point it is. So if you were initially thinking to avoid the EcoBoost because of reliability issues, you might want to think again because it's turning out that these engines can actually hold up very well when they're maintained well, just like any other truck on the face of the planet. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this little review video of this truck that I really like keeping an eye on. This is something I really hope stays within uh, ownership of at least someone I know so I can see how many miles this thing racks up on it before we have to do something major, but it's still going strong and I'm hoping to see a lot more miles on it. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys next time.